In this video, I wanted to show you a little defensive tactic that you can do out of the 2-4-5 odd that I think a lot of people are sleeping on, uh, just in terms of how effective it is to stop a lot of the meta things that you're going to be facing. It gives you kind of a somewhat of a completion, if you think about it, to your coverage scheme um, out of this formation and really can help you, I think, just kind of put yourself in a better position to get consistent stops. Now, if you are new to the channel, I do want to ask you to go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, the 245 odd has been probably at least a top two to three defense all season long. And I think that there is definitely no reason as to why it doesn't continue to be that good. Um, there's a lot of things to really like about this. This can There's a, a glitch in the game, or not a glitch, but just a little package in the game called the DL Rush Package where you can get um, a safety at linebacker via some depth chart adjustments. There's also some really good packages within this formation that allow you to blitz really well while at the same time maintaining the ability to not get weak box, which is one of the primary reasons why this is really good. I think it actually does feature certainly one of the better blitzes um, in the entire game and it also gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of your coverage which we're going to talk about here in just a second so this defense is very complete i've been running this defense for the majority of the season um, it's been one of my favorite defensive game plans that i've done over at my patreon membership if you've not uh, checked out the patreon membership i would really really encourage you to, to consider doing that and the reason why is just because it's only ten dollars a month and you get access to over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks that will literally walk you through step by step how to become a better Madden player and how to get better at this game. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below. Like I said, it's ten dollars a month and it unlocks everything. You get all the ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks that we've done over the course of the year. We typically update the Patreon membership several times a week with new material as the meta shifts and changes week to week. And then we also in the Patreon membership, um, you get access to every new ebook that we have in the in the membership as well. Okay, so I think it's a really really good deal uh, just for everything that you get over there, and it's one of my favorite. Uh, again, one of my favorite things that I've done all season. So it's the two four five odd stuff. So, anyways, let's take a look here at a uh, coverage scheme out of this. This is a cover six, and if you take a look at this, one of the big problems with two four five odd, at least in my personal opinion, is there is a little bit of a tell if you're not in pinch two. So what you'll see here is that if I'm in pinch two, the linebackers will be in the gaps. But if I'm in cover three, you see here cover four, you see here cover one, all those stay the same. So what's best to do is it's best to come out in pinch two and then audible to whatever it is that you want to be in, okay? Because that way you're gonna give them the same pre-snap look every single time. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So if I'm in pinch two and I audible to cover six, see how the linebackers pull out? But then look at this. If I'm in cover three and they come in, if I'm in cover four, they come in. So again, it's a little bit of something that you might want to just play with a little bit, but just as far as like helping your helping your, your defense to not have um, a consistent tell just in terms of what you're doing. Now, what I personally like to do out of pinch two though, is I like to pinch my linebackers. So that's an easy thing that you can do out of pinch two, just simply pinch your linebackers and you'll see they'll come out of the gaps like that. And then once you do that, then you can audible here and you see how you get the same kind of feature, okay? So anyways, that's just a little, little bit of a concept. If you spread your linebackers, you see they go out. If you reset them, they go in. If you pinch them, you know, so again, just kind of play around with your alignment a little bit with this. But the cover six defense is what I want to talk about in the video. Um, and the cover six defense is really a cool uh, defensive formation for several different reasons. Um, one of those is that if you take a look at this, you're going to see here that the pinch to what's so what makes it so good is this blitz off the left side. So if I crash my line to the right and I just stand right here, sometimes I'll get pressure off this left side. And I actually think that this blitz, um, to a degree, I don't know if it's been, it's not less effective, but it, I mean, it's not, um, I don't think it's been patched, but at the same time, I find that it's not as effective as it, as it was. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But again, here you see, you're still going to get a really good, really good three man rush is really what we're looking for. We're looking for a good, solid, um, three man rush out of this. So if we go to cover six again. And I'll show you pinch two in just a second, but it's just a good formation to blitz out of. And then let me put this guy on route. And you should see here with the running back goes on route, very good pressure. So if they send five out, 
it really puts them in a position where they can't send five out. The other thing that they can't do that most people like to do um, out of this is they like most people if they're running this this formation or they're running bunch, they don't want to have to block the running back. They'd rather block their tight end. So if they block their tight end, oftentimes this blitz still comes in, as you can see. So those are really big reasons to consider running this because it forces a specific type of pass protection um, that they're going to have to that they're going to have to do. The other thing that's really cool about this formation is you can use um, kind of some some tactics a little bit to you know basically let me see if I can set this up here. I might have to have another a different play. Yeah, so you see how I can get the contain here. That's something else that you can kind of mess with a little bit, play with a little bit, but it's very similar to the edge blitz two out of two three six will which is one of the best pass defenses in the game but the real beauty of this is cover six so if you take a look at cover six in terms of the way the coverage works we have a box check to the right and then we have a cover two check to the left well the the, the reason i wanted to hit on this is because let's say they do like a wheel here and what you should see here is you can throw this fade to the left so that's the one weakness is you basically have cover two to the bunch side so that's a weakness and then you know, really the other main, the, the one thing I will say about this formation that is actually an advantage is the fact that if they run a skinny post, so let's say they run like bunch trail, this skinny post right here typically will get matched. I actually didn't get matched very well there, but typically, oh, that's because we're not in cover six, duh. Um, but it would typically get matched by cover six. And I'll show that real quick. So again, just bunch trail. And what you'll see is a deep half. He matches it and plays it up the seam. So that's actually a really big advantage to the defense. However, what offenses have started doing or bunch players have started doing um, with this is basically trying to get the skinny post to run longer. Um, so they'll do that out of like smash return, for example, and they won't smart route it so that it runs a little bit longer so they can get their route running ability to light up a little bit better. Um, I will say, like, for the most part, Cover 6 does a really good job against Bunch in particularly. But I did want to show this other concept that you can do out of Cover 6. Um, and you also have a really good coverage on the wheel on the backside because you have a vertical hook and you have a hard flat um, that you can leverage to guard that. And then on the right side, what I like to do with this, um, if I was truly just playing Cover 6, you have you can what I like to do is basically... Um, get to my guy here I want to use her this defender right here on the three rec we're gonna blitz him of course and then we're going to bluff blitz the backside guy so I like to crash my line to the right we're gonna bluff blitz the backside linebacker or we could put him in a vertical hook if we wanted to um, we just need to technically be blitzing four so we could put him in a vert hook instead of a three rec which is not a bad idea specifically against bunch but we're gonna put a curl flat and I think that's really important so we're gonna put a curl flat to the left and then on the, or on the right and then on the left, we're going to have a hard flat so that we can get underneath on those little running back out routes and stuff. And then we have a vertical hook in case we want to be able to defend the wheel route to the running back. And then the beauty of this is we can actually go ahead and basically run our coverage like this. Um, the one thing you might want to do is put a deep half over here on the right side. So you see this is kind of what the coverage looks like. Why this is so good is because if they try to throw a corner route to the right, um, you're going to see here your pressure is going to come in, and then also you're going to have really good coverage over there on that corner. So that's one of the main reasons why cover six is so good, because you can defend the post and you can defend the corner to the left side of the screen. However, there are situations where maybe you don't want to do that. Uh, maybe you want to do something a little bit different. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like. So in that scenario, let's say you want to do something a little bit different. What you can do with this coverage that I think is really, really interesting is you can this linebacker right here you can't um the one thing that's weird about this is you can't cross man him unfortunately i really wish you could but you just can't but you can cross man um this guy right here thompson you can man him up on anybody okay so what we can do off of this is we can play what i like to, like a true quarter scheme and the way we'll do that is we'll outside quarter the outside safety we'll inside quarter the inside safety and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, purple zone the middle linebacker and we're going to bluff blitz the, the linebacker on the right side of the screen. So there's our three rec. And now we have everything that you would have in a quarter traditional quarters coverage. Um, and then what you'll see here on the post to the left side, if they run a post, um, you know, even if they run a post, you should get a double team here. 
So you see here a little double team on the post. Okay, so that's 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 a little pro tip with this is that the beauty of cover six, and I want to talk about why I like it one more. I'm going to give you one other formation to kind of explain this. But the real reason I love it so much is because two reasons. The, the first one is obviously 245 odd. You get great pressure. Um, the cover six is really the coverage that they've kind of embedded into a lot of the coverages in the game, which is good. Um, but then also you can adjust it and turn it into a quarters defense Um and, and, and we already know that the curl flat zone to me is much better than the quarter flat because the quarter flats get sucked in against crossers, um, whereas the curl flat will be have a little better integrity against crossers. Okay. Now, another or a secondary reason as to why I really, really like this defense is what it can do, what a cover six principle can do, in particularly against trips tied in and the most popular route combination from trips tied in. The most popular route combination from trips tied in, if you take a look here, we're gonna want a user. Um, we're gonna want a user this guy, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm gonna come back to that in just a second. But we're gonna user this guy right here. So if you think about the most popular route combination that you're gonna get from trips tight end, generally speaking, it's gonna be a tight end post and a slant. So if we just run cover six stock, we don't make any adjustments. What you'll see is we get this look right here. I want you to watch the three wreck on the play. You should see that he's gonna rob that tight end all the way across the field and take that away. I've talked about this concept before on my channel. It's why I like cover six um, a lot against trip side in. It's because of the principle, okay, of the principle keyword, um, not necessarily has to be that specific player. So what we can do against trips tied in is we can, a um, couple different things we can do with this. Um, it just kind of depends on the situation. But what we can do with this that I think is interesting is you can flip this play. And if you take a look at your coverage now, you can actually take this linebacker, uh, Simmons, and bluff blitz him. And then you can user this guy right here. So if I show you my play art, you see that Simmons is now in the bluff blitz. So I set up that principle. I want you to watch that bluff blitz. What you'll see is he is going to, again, go to that guy perfectly and defend that. So that's how you can kind of build a really nice defense against this in combination with pressure. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can build another principle, which is the quarters principle. So we could do something like this. And now we have a basic three-man rush. The beauty of this is this little angle right here, if you have a good pass rusher, could be very advantageous. Um, if you want to drop this guy in a curl flat, you could also drop this guy in a curl flat. Remember, he can be a safety. And then you can kind of sit right here. But this is like a true quarters um, in terms of how it's going to play. We want to leave the quarter flat on the left side, ideally. Uh, but what I want you to watch here is the post to the tight end. So what you'll see is that three rack. You see how that principle still works really well on that tight end post um, with that three rack hook defender. So it makes it a very difficult throw. Obviously, you can just click on and intercept it, which is why this defense to me is a very... The beauty of cover six is it combines principles from quarters coverage and from palms coverage and kind of embeds them into one defense and also has some principles of its own that I think are very advantageous. Like we talked about the deep half principle and how that deep half will play skinny posts really, really well. Um, and then what we can do with it again is this, where we have you know kind of a setup that looks like this, if you will. Let's go ahead and get the, get the um, adjustments to register. But let me see here, there we go. Okay, so we have quarters. And then you'll see here, watch the three rec. See how he lurks the tight end all the way across formation. Doesn't come off of him. If you run quarters, like true quarters against trips, he comes off of him a lot. So this to me is why cover six is so powerful is it combines principles from two specific coverages. And you can run cover six out of a lot of different formations, but the two best in my opinion are the two, four, five odd and the nickel triple, both of which we have eBooks on and both of which can be found in the Chicago playbook. If you want to learn how to run this defense, I would really encourage you to sign up for our Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can register for that for just $10 a month. And the cool part about it is once you sign up, it unlocks everything for you. You're going to get an instant access to 20 over 20 offensive and defensive guides. Updates. We typically update it every single week with new materials. So you're going to get a ton of updates. And then you're also going to get uh, any brand new ebooks that we release while your membership is active will be available to you in the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for that, again, there's a link in the description of this video that you can click on to go check it out. Thanks for watching the video. And I would really encourage you to try out the Cover 6 coverage and kind of adapt it and change it as you see fit. You're going to find a lot of success with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.